What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Desmond Payne Road to the Show on MLB The Show 16. We continue Payne's second season with the Texas Rangers. They are currently 49-49 and and just made another trade acquiring Kurt Suzuki. They're making all of these trades, and we've yet to see one really pay off for this team. And of course, a couple episodes ago, they traded away Shinsu Chu, and the offense struggled last episode, so that is the point of emphasis here today. Nice base hit to right by Desmond Payne, and the Rangers load the bases here in the first inning, and they end up scoring one here after a really lazy lobber to first base. That puts runners at the corners for Kurt Suzuki, the newest member of the Texas Rangers. He's been hitting well as of late with the Twins, but his first at-bat as a Ranger ends with a ground out. Still good signs from that first inning, and now we'll see some defense against Michael Brantley. A 10-game hitting streak where he is hitting 500. And there's a base hit to center that will drive in at least one. Payne comes up throwing, and the throw is too late. Brantley drives in a pair, and the Indians take the lead. 3-1 in the third inning, a 1-1 count to Payne, and he slams that back up the middle for a base hit. Payne came into this episode hitting 261. now has a pair of hits in this game. Next batter, ground ball left side and through, and Payne was running early, so he makes it all the way to third base. Another scoring chance for Texas as they put two in scoring position, but there's a ground ball to third. Payne racing home, and he's thrown out. A bad decision as the third baseman had a pretty easy play to make, and Payne couldn't leg it out. The aggressiveness does not always pay off. Unfortunately, Texas wasn't getting enough oh offense against TJ House in this one. 4-1 top seven, and Payne pops this one up, and it won't even leave the infield. There were some good chances to score runs early in this game, but they could not capitalize, and they lose this game. 4-1 in the first game of this three-game series against Cleveland. Let's go into game two. A full count to Desmond Payne as he swings late at the inside fastball and comes up empty. It was still a scoreless game into the sixth as Michael Brantley had a man on second, hits this in the air to center, and Payne takes care of that, and the runner advances. But Brantley was 0 for 3 to this point, they could not drive in a run. Still scoreless, top eight as that one climbs the ladder a bit too high. 1-1 count to Payne, and he gets jammed. Little ground ball to second base and an easy play to throw him out. Neither team could get the offense going. Michael Brantley 0 for 3, bottom 8. He has one down and a fly ball into the gap. There goes Payne. He makes the catch. Brantley's hitting streak could be over. Texas would lead this in the ninth inning, a 2 to 1 game. They finally got some runs across, and with two on base, a fly ball to Desmond Payne ends it as the Texas Rangers even the series. Brantley's hitting streak was over, and Payne also is hitless in this game. Let's go into the third game of the series. Texas trying to go above 500 here in game 101. Payne two for eight in the series with three strikeouts. Here in the first, he begins with a ground ball through the right side past the diving second baseman. Payne on first base and trying to help this offense get going. He takes off for second. There's Fielder deep right. Payne thinks it's going to fall. And it's off the wall. The risk pays off. Payne scores from first easily, and Fielder wants the triple, and he doesn't get it. That's how the inning ends. Prince Fielder trying to stretch a double into a triple. I think I've seen it all at this point now. 2-0 Texas as we move on to the fifth inning. And that one hung up in the air. Desmond Payne drives it out to right field. A no-doubt line drive homer for Payne's fourth of the season. I want to see more contact like this. The line drive homers aren't something we've typically seen from Desmond Payne. He also doesn't pull the ball very often, but this one was just up in the zone and Payne drilled it. No doubt 396 feet to extend the Texas lead. However, that lead would be short-lived. Cleveland had six runs in one inning and they were up by four at this point, driven deep in the gap, and that falls in to score another run. They get an RBI triple. Cleveland up eight to three as we advance to the seventh inning. 
two outs, and Payne trying to go back to right field. He hits that one foul. One, two count, and he hits another one well into center field. Some good swings from Desmond Payne in this series. Taking off here with a full count, and Leonis Martin strikes out, so Payne not getting much help. We're going to take this into the ninth inning. Two outs, two on, down by five, as Desmond Payne bats as a righty. Weak contact on this swing as that goes wide of the line. 0-1, and Payne follows off the high fastball to fall behind 0-2. That slider backs him off the plate, but still Payne is down to his last strike. That sinker is off. Now a 2-2 count. And Payne works this full. From 0-2 to 3-2, now the payoff pitch. And Payne drives this one deep to left. See you later. His second homer of the game. One from each side of the plate. This one a three-run jack. These were two of my favorite swings I've ever seen from Desmond Payne. I've wanted him to be more of a line drive hitter and for his home runs to be like this. I'm not sure if anyone gets to enjoy that one that left the stadium. Now the Rangers couldn't add on any more runs. They lose this game 8-6. to six. So despite a 4-5 of five day for Payne, Two homers, four RBIs. He didn't have enough help to complement his success. They lose the series one game to two and now begin a series against the Toronto Blue Jays. Payne's average has climbed up to 276 and they'll continue rising into left and the left fielder dove and missed. It's still loose. They finally get to it. Payne's halfway to third base. He's not content with the triple. He wants to go all the way around but he's thrown out. Another aggressive call backfires. Payne gets the RBI. It looked like as good a chance as you're going to have for an inside the park homer. But Payne comes up short. That's all there was to show from this game. A good outing for Marcus Stroman. And again, Payne accounts for most of the Texas Ranger offense. He goes one for four. They lose the first game of the series. Now into game two of four against the Blue Jays and back to left field, another good swing from Desmond Payne. This time he holds up with the single. If you haven't noticed, the Ranger offense keeps getting out to these strong starts. Payne singles, then the bases get walked, loaded by Michael Pineda. Two outs, bases juiced, and a soft ground ball. Foot race to the bag, and out number three. Another missed opportunity. And the Rangers still have no runs as we move on to the fifth. Questionable call there on the cutter as Pineda gets ahead in the count. The 1-2 and he backs off Payne with the slider. Payne just trying to reach base to get a good start to this inning. But he looks at a cutter in the zone for strike number three. As he gets struck out by his former teammate. 4-0 Blue Jays as this pitch hung up in the air and Payne drives it into left. Three straight hits for him into left field. He's back to going to opposite field. Two on and one down as this ground ball goes to second. And they easily turn two to take care of that solid inning. The Rangers eventually got some runs. And look at the opportunity presented to Desmond Payne. Down by two, bases loaded, two down, and he gets ahead in the count 2-0. But then pops one up. It's the whole team missing opportunities with runners in scoring position. It's a slump right now for the Texas Rangers and not generating much offense. They lose game two by a score of four to two. So we go into game number three, just trying to get a win. And there's a single from Desmond Payne. Again, they get out to the good start in the first inning. It always looks like, hey, maybe they're about to change their fortunes a bit. And then Prince Fielder, deep right. But a nice catch over the shoulder, and Payne has to retreat back to first base. Now two outs, Payne still on first, and a fly ball into left field. Payne cannot advance, and the inning is ended. Later in the game, still scoreless, bottom six as Payne goes back up the middle. Tough play, couldn't field it cleanly, and they rule that a base hit for Desmond. Can he get into scoring range? He's going to take off. Prince fields your base hit left field and Payne can round second. He heads to third, now runners at the corners. Payne 90 feet away from helping get Texas the lead. 
They bring the infield in against the bunt. They're trying to squeeze Payne in, and he does get there. That was a lot closer than it should have been as Payne took off late. Donaldson didn't turn around quick enough. However, the Blue Jays did add a couple runs as this game went to extras. Bottom of the 10th inning, they need a run to advance the game at the least. Desmond Payne, deep center, and that is a fly out, and the Rangers lose again. The slump is a thing at this point. They've lost three in a row to Toronto after losing two of three to Cleveland. Now one more game in this series. They could be swept in four games at home. Even with Payne's great stretch of hitting, it hasn't been enough to get wins. He grounded out here in his first trip. Then with two runners on, he swings and misses at the curveball. Looking for something big here with two outs. And he misses another curveball. So what's the call going to be with two strikes? Fastball driven into center. Payne gets one run home and another one on the way. A two run hit with two down. That's what we have to see. Texas leading this game four to one, now bottom six. Payne, first pitch swinging and into center field past the diving shortstop. He has another multi-hit game. That's his third in a row against Toronto. He takes off, throw to second is high and too late as Payne swipes another base. He's in scoring position later, advances to third base. With two down, however, a strikeout ends the inning and Payne is again left on base. Toronto's trying to make a game of this later in the game. Steve Lombardozzi is up two on, down by three, base hit into the gap. That should score at least one as Payne gets this back into the infield with a rainbow throw. But that still leaves two in scoring position. And here's a deep fly ball to center, an easy tag. Payne lost track of it and dropped it. Throwing it back into the infield, one run scores. They want the tying run and thrown out at the plate. It works out in the end. The Rangers win this game. They finally catch a break. They win the game 4-3, still lose the series. And we'll start off this new series against the Astros. Look at Payne's stats over his last month though. Absolutely crushing it out there. Here's Jose Altuve, first inning fly ball into the gap. And Payne races over to put this one away. Trying to get two straight victories, that was the goal here. Bottom five, down one, a hit to deep short. Tough play, Payne still thrown out. Great defensive job by the shortstop. Yet again, we see the offense not producing many runs. It's three to one, and Payne trying to take away a hit. Diving for this one. He's got it. Now, I'm not sure if I want to stick to these showtime catches or if I'd rather just take that off. I like full speed catches. We've seen the showtime stuff. What do you guys think? Maybe turn it off and see some full speed defense. 3 3, bottom seven. They got some offense going, and Payne narrowly misses an extra base hit down the line. 1 2. And that is just low. Payne gets the count evened up, then full, and proceeds to chop this one to the shortstop as he gets the out at second. Payne reaches on the fielder's choice. A base hit would take the lead, but Prince Fielder hits it to short. They get Payne out at second, and this game would go into extras. Bottom of the 10th inning. A man on second, nobody out here. A prime spot for Payne. But a line drive out and Payne cannot come through for Texas. That was a pitch he liked. He was first pitch swinging with great contact, but it did not matter. Here's a second look at it. Incredible play over at third base to save a hit and potentially a run. They could not bring in that run from second. And for Houston, Jordan Schaefer walked. Then he stole second. Then he stole third. Now a hit into the gap. And come on, you're not going to throw out his speed from that far in the outfield. So Jordan Schaefer wins the game essentially for the Houston Astros as they take game one of this series. Payne and the Rangers go two for six in today's action, now fall below 500 to 51 and 55. They were five and a half games out of first place and are now 10 games back. So a lot of ground lost in this episode. And Kurt Suzuki is on DL, so we keep trading for players and they go on DL. 
Things are not going that well for us right now. I miss having Shinsu Chu on this team and he's currently having a cold streak and is unhappy with Washington. Perhaps he didn't want to be traded. I decided to check morale for other players on our team. We have satisfied players, Leotis Martin, Harry Riley, but also some players that aren't as happy at the moment. Prince Fielder is unhappy, and so is ace pitcher Yu Darvish. And I'm sure Desmond Payne right now is feeling a lot like Jalen Ramsey. He is tired of losing. He's playing well, and he wants to see it turn into wins. We'll see if that happens as we continue the month of August next episode. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your feedback below. I will see you all next episode. Have a great day.